In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can change your website domain name. I'm gonna be changing the domain name on my latest affiliate marketing website, wheelalong.com. I created a video on exactly how I created that website. If you haven't seen it, you might wanna go check it out. I'll put it up in a card now. But basically, that website is targeting a UK audience, but I created it on a .com domain name, uh, and then I kind of went away and thought about it and thought, well, it'd probably be better on a .co.uk domain name. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna change it in this video and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Now that website is hosted with the fantastic SiteGround. So the process that I'm gonna go through in this video really only applies to sites that are hosted with SiteGround. As well as showing you how to change the domain name, I'm gonna show you how to make sure that everything redirects properly so that people don't accidentally end up on the .com after you've uh, changed it. They'll automatically be redirected through to the .co.uk or the dot .whatever, whatever domain name you're gonna be changing to. I'm also gonna show you how to update your Google Analytics and how to update your Google Search Console. So I think we're about ready to get on the computer and change our domain name. Just one quick thing before we do that. If you're new here, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Why not subscribe right now? Just click that button below and click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And if you like this video and it helps you out, please click the like button below because that helps me out. Anyway, let's go. So here's my site, wheelalong.com, the one I created in my recent full length video tutorial. And as I said in the introduction, I basically decided that as it's a UK targeted site, the domain name should be wheelalong.co.uk rather than wheelalong.com. I'm gonna be forwarding the .com to the .co.uk for the time being. And maybe in the future I might set up a US targeted site, then I'll, uh, I'll use the .com for that. So the first thing I've done is I've registered the .co.uk over at Namecheap, which is my favorite domain name registrar at the moment. I'll put a link up now to Namecheap if you wanna go get yourself a domain name. It is an affiliate link, so I do appreciate if you use it, uh, I will earn a commission. So now the domain name is all registered, it's, it's right here, the.co.uk, I need to update the name servers to the SiteGround name servers. So to do that, I'm gonna click Manage. And here we've got name servers. If you've registered your domain name with someone else, the process will be pretty much the same. You just need to go into the settings for your domain name and look for name servers. Let's change it to custom DNS and then it's got two spaces here where I can paste in the SiteGround name servers. Now, SiteGround do send you the name servers in an email, but if you've lost that email, you can find them within your account. I've got my SiteGround account here, I'm logged in. If I go to websites, here's my wheelalong.com. Go to the three little dots over here and go to server details. Here they are. I'm just gonna copy that. Go back to Namecheap, paste it in. Get number two. Copy, paste it in. Click the little tick. There we go, that's done. It says the update may take 48 hours to take effect. So that's fair enough. So what I'm gonna do next is change the settings on SiteGround. So back to my SiteGround account, close that. Back to the three little dots and there's an option here to change primary domain. That's what we're gonna be doing, so I'll click that. It's asking me to type in the new domain, so that's wheelalong.co.uk. And again, wheel, oh, hang on. Wheelalong.co.uk. And then confirm. Okay, it's telling me to point my domain, but I'm one step ahead of your site ground, I've already done it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there we go, that's all done. So I'm just gonna go back to websites. You see it's changed here. Then we go to site tools. I'm gonna go to domain and park domain. So, um, wheelalong.com is here now as a park domain. 
So that's good, that means that it will uh, automatically redirect. So I'm just gonna wait now for the um, domain name changes, the DNS changes to take effect. Let me just check that we've got the um, SSL installed. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna install a new one because it's not showing as an SSL. So we're along the code, okay. Uh, let's encrypt is fine, get. Just to make sure that the padlock and everything works fine. So there we go, that's all done. So I think we should give it a try. Um, you know, I've waited a couple of minutes. Let's see if the DNS changes that has happened. Sometimes it happens really quickly, so let's try it. If yours isn't working straight away, just keep in mind, yeah, these things sometimes take a little while just to, to go around the world, but I'm feeling confident that, um, that it's gonna work. So let me just pop over in a new tab. Wheel along, let's go to .com and just see if it redirects through. Way! Yeah, I need to update that logo. It's pretty easy to do that. It's a logo within Canva, but that's working, yeah. But let's just click around. Aha. Uh -huh. That one there went to the .com. I don't know why that is. So maybe, yeah, some pages are .com, some are .co.uk, so that's not good. Let's log in to WordPress and just see what's going on. So here we are, we're into the WordPress dashboard. I just wanna check the settings here that these have switched over okay, and yep, they're fine, it's .co.uk. So I'm guessing it's probably just a cache issue. So let me delete the cache and the minified CSS GAS thing. If you're running a caching plugin, I suggest you do the same. Now let's go back. There we go. Now we're all .co.uk up. Then if I change this to a .com, it should let me and redirect me through back to the .co.uk. Oh, it hasn't. Okay. Let's do a quick edit. Okay, so I've just been chatting to my good friend, Phil, who looks after a lot of my server and website stuff. You should go check him out, by the way. I'll put a link to his uh, company in the description of this video. It's called Spiderweb. Really good guy to know. Uh, it can help you out with hosting and all that kind of stuff too. But anyway, he has provided me with some code that I need to add to my HT access file in order to get this redirecting properly. I don't know why SiteGround doesn't do it by default, but apparently it doesn't. So anyway, you live and learn, let's add that bit of code. Now you'll find this bit of code over at wpeagle.com. I'll put a link to the post in the description of this video. In fact, I might put a link up now in a card. Take you over to WP Eagle and you'll find the code. And what you need to do is copy that code into your clipboard. And then within your SiteGround dashboard in here, you know where all your SiteGround stuff is, uh, into File Manager. Uh, when you come into File Manager, there is um, your websites. Let me just kind of show you what it looks like. It'll look like this. These are basically all your files on your server. You need to go into public HTML and you need to find the .ht access file. So you get that bit of code off WP Eagle. Copy it to your clipboard and then paste it in. It looks like this. Now, my got a code obviously says wheel along. So you'll need to change, oh, I can click it, yep. Yeah. Change this bit and this bit and this so that it matches your domain names. Once you're done, click this floppy disk to save. Now, when I refresh this wheelalong.com, it should take us to wheelalong.co.uk slash about us. Here we go. Woohoo! So now we are all redirecting properly. So now that the domain name is all changed, we do of course need to adjust a couple of other things, if you're running them, that is. Um, the first is Google Analytics. So let's do that now. I'm gonna go to Google Analytics. If I can type anyway, I am gonna. Okay, here it is. Okay, so it's brought me straight into my Wheel Along Analytics profile. If we go into admin, go to property settings, 
got the URL here. I should just be able to update it like that. Scroll down and click Save. And let's click this arrow to go back. I think we do have to change it in one other place. That's in here for the view settings. Switch this to the .co.uk as well. There we go, that's done. Click the arrow to go back. Okay, so that's Analytics updated. The other place we need to check is Google Webmaster Console, Webmaster Tools, Search Tools, Search Console. I don't even know what they call it anymore. I still call it Webmaster Tools. So that's what I'm gonna Google. It's this one here. Let's sign in. And it's brought me into wheelalong.com on Google Search Console. Now, I'm not sure we can change it. Um, no. So we're gonna need to um, basically remove this and add it again. So I'm in settings, let's click remove property. Goodbye. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a new property. I'm gonna go on this drop down. I've got all my sites, I'm gonna click add property. The URL, enter the URL. I do it this way with the URL prefix rather than domain, it's just easier. Willalong.co.uk, click continue. And it's verified me with Google Analytics. So uh, there we go, job's good. We just need to add our sitemap again. So we're going to sitemaps, I can't remember the URL. What's the URL? Let's go and find it. If you're running um, Rank Math or Yoast, they generate the SEO, SEO, what we're talking about, the SEO sitemap for you. So go into uh, Rank Math, which is what I've got here, or go into your Yoast and find the URL. I think it's the same on Yoast as uh, as well. So this sitemap hyphen, it's not hyphen, is it? Underscore. It's sitemap underscore index.xml on both of them. So uh, let's just paste that in, click Submit. Got it. Couldn't fetch. Why, what, what, why? Couldn't be read. Let's see if it's working. Oh, oh right, no, it's not there, is it? Hmm, let's clear the cache. Let us um, do one other thing that might help. Let's go into settings and permalinks. Just gonna resave these like that. Let's try again. Hey, it's working. So let's remove this one. Just give it a click, come up to the three little dots up here. Click remove. Yes, please. Let's add it again. Still couldn't fetch it. Okay, I waited a few moments, refreshed this page and da da, it says success. So we're all done. So that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you found it useful. Hope you've managed to change your domain name. Do leave me a comment below. I read all the comments that I get and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not yet subscribed, you can do so by clicking on my face up there. Why not check out my vlog channel? You can do so by clicking on my other face. And here are a couple more videos. They've been chosen specially for you. So I hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.